Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today, we are making these super adorable crochet Christmas ornaments. If you are looking for fun and fast stash busting Christmas crochet projects, these patterns are for you. Of course, all of these different tutorials and patterns are available on my channel and website. I'll link them down below as they become available, as well as a playlist of all my Christmas crochet projects up in the cards and in the comments. To make these easy crochet Christmas ornaments, you will need just regular old worsted weight acrylic yarn, but you can use any yarn that you have on hand. I'm using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook just because it's green and there's a chance I'll remember which hook I used for my Christmas ornaments next year. But you can use any hook that goes along with the yarn you're using. The bigger the hook, the bigger and floppier your little stocking will be. Each of these little stockings used four grams of yarn, so they're a really good stash buster too. You don't need a large quantity of yarn. Just the tiny little scraps make gorgeous little stockings. If you'd like to follow along with a written pattern, it's available over on my website, secretyarnery.com, and you don't have to worry about being able to read patterns. All of my patterns are written in plain English, just like I was sitting there crocheting right beside you. If you want to make a whole bunch of these, I suggest working row by row. So getting your first round completed and then completing the second round. It'll really help the project feel like it's going much faster than completing each stocking one by one. Here are the timestamps so you can jump back to the row you're working on. And let's get started. make this crochet Christmas stocking ornament with a magic ring or just a slip knot and a chain three. So that's how I'm going to show you today, but if you want to do a magic ring, you're more than welcome to. So chain three, one, two, and three. And now we're going to slip stitch into our very first chain to form a ring. So just pop your hook in and you want to make a little U shape underneath your hook. So take your time, you want your tail to follow that U shape, hold it open with your finger and thumb, and slip stitch to form a ring, still holding it open, and chain three. One, two, and three. Now wrap your yarn and make one double crochet into the center of that ring, taking care to go over your tail, and chain two. One, and two. Wrap your yarn into the center of your ring, two double crochets, one and two, chain two, one and two, wrap your yarn, keep that tail just folded along your ring just so we can keep working around it, and two more double crochets into the center of your ring. One, and two. Chain two, one, and two, and two more double crochets into the center of the ring. One, and two. If you run out of space, just grab your starting chain and your ring and your new stitches and slide your new stitches back, just pulling that chain out, your little ring you made, slide all your stitches back, that'll give you some more room. We want all of our stitches to be laying down nice and flat side by side. Chain two, one and two, and two more double crochets into the center of your ring. One and two, Chain two, one, two, and two more double crochets into the center of your ring. So remember, you can always slide your stitches back, give yourself some enough space for your stitches to lay nice and flat. Two double crochets into the center of that ring. And I'm still working over my tail. So just count, we want six of these sets of double crochets, so six pairs. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So that's what we want. Chain two, one and two. And now we're going to slip stitch to the top of that chain three to join. Right there. Two strands of that stitch on the top of your hook. So just pop that top of the chain three onto your hook. 
slip stitch to join, chain one to secure, and now cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. If you worked over your tail, you can just snip that off. And that finishes round one. Have you subscribed to this channel? Go ahead and hit this button under this video right now so you don't miss out on any more fun stuff just like this. To start round two, get your next color of yarn and just pop your hook into any corner space, just not the one where we joined before. So just any other space. Pop your hook in, loop of that new yarn on your hook, bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join and drop your tail. Chain two one and two. If you join your yarn in a different way, chain three. Now into this very same space, we're going to do five double crochets into the same space. So one, two, three, four, and five. Our chain counts as our first double crochet, so that counts as six double crochets. And then we're gonna jump right over into that next space and make six double crochets into the next space as well. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Into the next space, mine has the tail, so wherever your tail is, you'll just do this. Just bring it forward so we can work over it a little bit. It just makes it a little easier sewing it in later, a little more reassurance. So just hold that tail forward whenever you get to it. Into the next space, we're going to do three treble crochets. There's one. Here's two. And three. So there's my three treble crochets. Chain two, one and two, and into the very same space, four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Into the next space, four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Chain two, one, two. Wrap your yarn twice, slide those stitches back to give yourself some more room, and three treble crochets into that same space. One, two, and three. So there's three treble crochets into that same space. Now we have two spaces left. We're gonna do six double crochets into each of these spaces. So into the next space, six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and into the next space, six double crochets. 
one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're going to slip stitch to the top of the chain to join. This little guy, kind of a little bit down on the side, that's going to pull it up and help it really hide that join we made. So pop your hook to the top of that chain two that we made when we started. Two strands of that chain on the top of your hook. Slip stitch to join. And chain one. And now make a little bit of a bigger loop so we can take our hook out. We want to sew in our tails. If we don't sew them in now, they're really hard to get to later. So now just sew in these two tails. Now shrink that loop back down on your hook, and that marks our center point. That's where we're going to fold our work. So just fold it in half, right where our yarn is and turn it to the side so we can work along. We're going to just single crochet our little stocking together. Now you can line up your sides, just poking your finger in between those sets of six double crochets on both sides, and then our stitches will line up. So we've already gone into the first stitch on this side. We're going to start in the second stitch. So we're going to pop in our hook right here on the first side, and it's going to line up to the second stitch on the other side just like that. So just pop your hook into that second stitch and grab the second stitch of the other side as well. Bring it through one single crochet and then one single crochet into both sides of the next stitch. and into the next stitch as well, one single crochet. And now one single crochet into each pair of stitches, all the way until we get to the heel. So just matching them up, checking that you have four strands on your hook, and one single crochet. You can just keep that center lined up, the space in between our shells. That'll help you line up your stitches. and now one single crochet into each of the next two pairs, working on our heel shell. So one single crochet, and one single crochet into the next pair as well. Now to get around and make it a little more boot-like, we're just gonna do a chain one. And now we're just gonna finish off one single crochet into each of these pairs to finish joining it up one single crochet into each pair of single crochet. And remember, you can poke your fingers through those spaces in between the shells to make sure your stitches are lining up. All the way along, one single crochet into each pair of stitches. Into our last pair of stitches. One single crochet. And now into the space of both sides, we're gonna do one single crochet and chain one. See, our cute little boot, was that not so easy? Not even joking. So now we're gonna cut our yarn, but we wanna leave a long enough tail because we're gonna use our tail for our hanging tag to hang our ornament. So eight or nine inches and just pull your hook up and your yarn through Snug that down to secure, and thread your needle. Now we're just going to sew in our tail. I like these sharp tip needles. They're linked down below, but you can also use blunt tip if you like. And now just work your tail right back down along your work. Just into that seam part. You don't want to go into where your stocking is. You can still put a cute little chocolate or some little present inside if you feel like it. So bring your yarn through, but not too far. And you don't want to snug it down, so stretch that out. We don't want to cinch down the top of our stocking. 
And you can make your loop any size depending on where you're going to be hanging them or what you're going to be using them for. I like to keep a piece of cardstock handy just so I can measure how long I want my tails to be. And all my ornaments will have the same size loop. And then just sew your tail back up in the opposite direction. And back down. So down, up, and down. And then you can snip off your tail. And there's your adorable crochet Christmas ornament. So I hope you enjoyed making your super cute crochet Christmas ornament as much as I did. I'm waiting for you in that video right there. Stay hooked.